So welcome to this video. I am going to be doing um, some nails today with some sparkly red glitter and some hand painted leopard print. So uh, my lady has come in. I've removed her previous set down to a thin clear base. She'd lost a few nails because it'd been over the Christmas break and some of my ladies went four weeks instead of three. And so they'd lost a few nails. It's what it is. I mean, I can only go about two and then they start, I start breaking and them off and stuff so yeah i'm very heavy-handed so yeah um it is what it is so we've got a few repairs to do on this set so coming in with the first nail i've applied that thin clear base and then i've come in with some of this eternal flame glitter this is from the valentine's 2020 collection from the glitter fairy um so i'm applying this on the nail and then using the tip of my brush just to nudge that around until i've got a full coverage On the ring finger again i've applied that thin clear base and then i'm coming in with peachy rose rosy peach crazy peach and creating a crisp smile line so i've come in with my first bead creating that smile line and blending back before i then add a second bead at the cuticle area and pull that together Then moving on to the ring finger, I'm applying a thin clear base and then I'm going to create a full colour nail with CJP Nude. I wanted this because it, it's a slightly different shade to cover pink. It's more of a flat beige but it's got a nice shimmer to it so it does soften it. Um, if you can hear snoring in the background, apologies, that's my dog. We're snuggled up in bed as we um, voice over videos today. Then going back to that ring finger and just finishing creating the shape and structure um, of that cover pink area with a clear acrylic. And then capping that pinky finger in clear acrylic. I think just as I started recording there, he did a massive grunt snore again, sorry. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Then heading on to the point finger, coming in with that cover pink at the cuticle area and blending down. And then I'm going to place some of that eternal flame glitter at the tip and blend up. So you've got a good, nice, good traditional little glitter fade there. I'm then just going to file in that smile line on that ring finger. I'm going to make sure I get rid of all of that dust and then I'm going to create the tip using Nude from CJP. Again, it's very subtle um, colour next to the cover pink. But I think it looks really cute. Then going to that index finger and capping that clear, uh, um, capping the glitter in clear acrylic. And on the thumb, again sculpting out that thin clear base, and then I'm coming in with a full glitter nail using that eternal flame glitter. And then capping that in clear acrylic. So here's another video, I'm uh, leaving the filing in for you. Um, again, it's the same filing routine I always use, so I go side wall, side wall, free edge, check those lower arches. Um, I stopped there because I remembered I just wanted to tidy up this underneath, so I've got my um, cone e-file bit, and then I'm going to flip the hands upside down. I'm just going to file out underneath the natural nail and just make sure it's all nice and smooth underneath the nail before I then carry on filing the rest. So back to my hand filing, side wall, side wall, free edge, check those lower arches, then I'm going to go gently around the cuticle area, 
and then I do the entire body of the nail. I do that for every single nail and it always ends up with a nice consistent set of nails. Same length, same shape, nice set. Oh, and this is one of my ladies who has teeny, teeny, tiny fingers. So look, look, that is my little finger next to hers. Oh my God, <laughs> she has the teeniest nails. Like that, that's my little finger next to her thumb. I feel like a giant. <laughs> And when they're all filed in, dusted off, and then coming in with my hand painting. So I'm just using some HD Pro um, nail art paints, and I've got the brown, and I literally just smudge, splodge. Um, I love doing leopard print because it's an, a really easy design. They just it comes together so nicely because you're literally just splodging on paint. So I'm starting with the brown, and then I'm going to come in with the black, and I'm going to make sure the black just gently, very delicately outlines it, doesn't join up so you always have a gap in the outline and then just adding the odd dots and splashes here and there with the black too.
then adding some rose gold crystals so we've literally just gone one in the corner and then a few either side of it And then top coating. So remember whenever you've done hand painting or anything like that, you need to double top coat those nails. But then I did a single top coat on the other nails. And then when we're all done, applying some cuticle oil. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this set of nails. I really enjoyed creating them. You just can't beat red and a bit of leopard print. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!